All right, welcome, welcome everybody. I wanna show you a quick and easy way to find the turnover rate in your real estate markets, um, whether it be by for a neighborhood, for a zip code, a city, or the entire county. Maybe you're comparing one county to another. Why is that so valuable? Well, if you're going to invest your time, money, and energy into uh, you know a particular area in your market, let's find an area that is going to have the, the most potential opportunity for you, okay? So how you can quickly and easily find the turnover ratio, the number of homes that, that have sold as a percentage of the total possible homes in your real estate market. Now, before we get into that, number one, if you're watching on Facebook, give me the thumbs up if you're excited about this uh, idea and this topic and, and how you can leverage this. Um, to create more business opportunities for yourself or even hit the heart button. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Also, uh, hit that like button and smash the bell to be notified of new live sessions like this one. Lastly, if you're watching on LinkedIn, hit that like button or maybe even the light bulb button. Now, I'm going to show you how, you how to do this using PropStream, okay, uh, because I love it and because uh, I've been using it for months now. And uh, I think it's a, a, a source and a tool that you all should use. And you can get a free trial with PropStream below at growwithjosh.com forward slash PS. Growwithjosh.com forward slash PS. Certainly, you don't have to use that to figure this out, but I'm going to show you how I'm using it to figure it out uh, and, and how you can model that as well. Um, so without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to log into PropStream and I'm just going to show you and talk you through some, some particular or some uh, potential examples for you. Okay. So some potential examples for you. Uh, and I'm going to do this for zip codes, for um, actual like total zip codes. And uh, I'm going to pit a couple against each other so I can get an idea for myself. You know, where is my buddy, money, uh, you know, best invested? So I'm going to start with the zip codes uh, 17011. 17011. This is Camp Hill. It's a town in my market. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to filter. Okay. And I'm going to choose uh, property characteristics. I'm going to do this just for single family homes, just for single family homes. So when I choose single family homes in Camp Hill, I get 10,138. And I made a little handy dandy spreadsheet here. Um, 10,138. So I'm going to enter that number in. And then I'm going to go back to PropStream. I'm going to go back to PropStream. And I'm going to I'm going to filter by one simple thing. I'm going to go to Ownership Info. And I'm going to go to Max Years of Ownership, one year, which means the property sold in the last year. And we get 495 as the result. So 495. And uh, well, all I did here, I made a little formula um, where I'm just taking this number divide by this number, and we got 4.88%. And I'm going to note here um, that this is SFR, single family residences. Okay. Now I'm going to choose a different zip code. I'm going to choose a 17025. That's my, that's my actual uh, personal zip code. And so the number of properties that sold there are 181, uh, 181. Put uh, 17025. And then I'm going to go here to filter and I'm going to remove one year or fewer. And uh, we've got 4,062. So 4,062. So uh, a little bit less. The turnover rate was actually slightly smaller. Okay. I'm going to do one more zip code. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to take this a step farther or a step or two farther, uh, per the recommendations of, of one of the, uh, one of the, the smart, uh, fellas in my, uh, EXP organization, my sales organization, we were on our daily huddle today and I was talking about how I was going to do this. And he had a recommendation that I think is a, a, extremely valuable that I'm going to walk you through in a minute here, but I'm going to do this for one other zip code. I'm going to do 17050, which is kind of like my, my ideal target. So 1,181, I'm sorry, 10,000, 10,181. And uh, this is zip code 17050. And let's go and we're going to filter 
and we're going to go uh, ownership, max one year. And oh, did I do something wrong? Did I break it? No, 462. 462. That's uh, interesting. It's pretty close to the other one. A couple of things here. So, so Harry, uh, a great agent in Montgomery County, Maryland, recommended, hey, when you're doing this, maybe also go back and find the last, you know, what that rate was over the last two years, or maybe even three years, because we know the last two years have been kind of crazy, kind of crazy. So why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? So I'm going to go back. Actually, we'll just take it for 17050. Okay, 17050. Instead of one year or fewer, I'm going to remove that. Actually, I'll go to ownership info and I'll do three years, three years. And let's see what comes up for that. So 1563. 1563, 1563. That's 15.35, but to get the, what we have to divide it by three because we did three years. So 15.35 divide three is five, uh, a little over 5%. So similar, but slightly higher even over a three year window versus uh, a one year window. Okay. Um, so I thought that was interesting and something you may want to do to see when you're comparing these different markets to each other, as far as opportunity goes and the turnover rate to see if it was just a one year blip, right? Or, or anomaly, or if it's pretty steady. Now, one other thing I thought I would do, which would be fun is uh, I'm going to do 17050, but we're going to do, uh, we're going to do townhomes, not single family residents. Um, I'm going to do townhomes and, and we'll do townhomes and condos. Cause in my market, a condo um, could be like a townhome. We don't have like the traditional, like, you know, the downtown condo uh, type stuff. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove this and we'll go. So we got 3527 total, 3527. And uh, then let's go here. We're going to filter. We're going to do ownership info one year. And we got 216. Now this is going to be a lot higher. It's going to be a lot higher. Aha. So look at that. 6.12. 6.12. Now, you know, that's that's significantly. That's that's, you know, it seems like small numbers, but when you compare it to 4.5, it's actually what is that? That is 33% higher turnover rate. Uh also what's interesting is if you look at this number 3500 when you when you think about it from a farming perspective, if I were to farm those um, it would be much more manageable to farm this amount than to try and, you know, farm, a, you know, an entire zip code of 10,000 single family residences. OK, so pretty interesting stuff here. Now, what if I wanted to take this and, and I decided that, OK, I want to build a list of these uh, townhomes in this zip code. And, um, you know, identify maybe the ones that are more likely to sell. So instead of filtering by one year of ownership. I go a minimum of five years of ownership and what comes up for us. So I've got 1,782 condos and townhouses that have been owned for uh, for five years or more, okay? Now, if I can further take this, this information that we're compiling here, okay? I wanna, I wanna take this a little deeper for you. So if I take 1,782 times uh, 6%, there's 106, let's just call it 100 possible transactions, right? Okay. And um, the average price of these uh, these um, townhouses is approximately 250,000. So I'm going to take 106 times 250,000. And don't worry, if I lose you here, I'm just trying to identify for you the, the, the potential opportunity. Okay. So it looks like there's about 26 million just under 27 million in potential volume. And if I multiply that by 0.05, two and a half percent on each side, I'm being conservative. That's 1.36 million in possible gross commission income up for grabs, theoretically, if these numbers hold true. And they're probably gonna be pretty close. My guess is it's gonna be somewhere between five and 7% turnover ratio. So 
what I'm trying to illustrate here for you is how you can more strategically invest your time, money, and energy into growing the listing side of your business. I mean, I, I think we can all agree that the market is starting to shift a little bit and change a little bit. Uh, um, uh, some listings are sitting a little bit longer. You're even seeing more price reductions, um, you know, in multiple offer scenarios, maybe not quite as many multiple offers. So there are definitely some things that are in the works, some changes in the wind. And even if there aren't, one way or another, here's what we know. Uh, you know, you got a list to last, right? And listings create leverage for you in your business. So if you want that little spreadsheet that I created, um, let us know. We'll probably uh, end up putting a copy of that as a pinned comment or whatever. Um, and, um, you know, I, I would I would go through this activity if for nothing else, if for no other reason, then it helps you become more of a market expert. You know your numbers, right? And, um, and when you can demonstrate that you're a market expert uh, and that you are, you know, you, you're an authority on the, the information in your market, um, then you can have better conversations, more, uh, you know, uh, you, you can demonstrate that knowledge in your marketplace and therefore create more opportunities for you. So if you want to be able to use PropStream to create these kind of, uh, you know, uh, um, turnover rate uh, um, formulas, or you want to use it to generate more motivated sellers, uh, get a free trial at growwithjosh.com forward slash PS. Also, um, if you want to see a number of other examples of PropStream in action, we've done a number of live sessions like this one. Uh, we've got an entire playlist on YouTube uh, that I would, on my YouTube channel that I would highly recommend you check out. Some really good stuff on how to find vacant land, how to find commercial properties, uh, motivated commercial listings. Um, how to, uh, you know, how to strategically target other niches in your market, uh, uh, maybe um, down potential downsizing, uh, lots of lots of uh, potential uses and so forth. Um, last thing I'll say is, uh, actually, two more things. Check out the additional uh, resources and links above or below the video in the uh, in the description. And as always, if there's anything at all we can do for you to help or support you. Uh, as you look to grow and scale your business here into 2022 and beyond, please don't hesitate to ask. You can comment below, shoot me a private message, or you can even email uh, my director of ops, Mike at Mike at growwithjosh.com. Uh, hopefully we can chat sometime soon. Let's have it a, a, make it a great week and a great ending to the year and uh, get, get, uh, get the ball rolling and build that pipeline for next year as well. Take care and hopefully uh, talk soon.